Hi guys, my name is Tana. Welcome to today's Balancing Vinyasa Yoga Flow. This will be a sort of like a power flow, uh, strong, fiery practice where we really challenge our balance, our coordination, and really build that strength and tone through our whole body. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then let's get straight into it. Before we do that, please remember to give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new flows every single week. Okay, let's get into it. So we're gonna start at the back of our space in a kneeling position in Virasana. So you can just draw your thighs together and place your hands on top of your thighs. Lengthen through your spine, so lift up through your skull as you press down into your heels, through your hips. Close your eyes. Gently relax the shoulders down and back. And allow your energy to settle as you drop fully into your body. And then we'll take a nice deep breath in through the nostrils. Allow the belly to fully expand. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Let's go for one more round like that. Deep breath in. And exhale to sigh. Blink your eyes open. And then interlace your hands, reach the hands out in front of you, straighten out the elbows completely, tucking your chin and broadening fully across your upper back. Take a full inhale. And then as you exhale, reach the arms all the way up, lifting out of your waistband, belly to spine, breathing in. Exhale, stretch over towards your right side. And then inhale, arms come back up and exhale towards your other side. Keep those elbows straight as you breathe into your right rib cage. Start to make your way back up to center and then take the hands behind your back. Interlace your hands behind your back, drive your chest forwards and squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades together, really bringing it into your chest. Nice big breath here and release. Beautiful. Sweep the hands all the way forwards in front of you. Come onto your hands and your knees, spread it into your fingers, curl your toes under, and then we'll come into cow pose. Lift through your chest, really push the shoulders back. Exhale round, cat spine contracting fully. And again, inhale, arch, lowering the belly down, lifting up through the breastplate. Exhale to round. And one more time, breathe into it. Feel the body open, inhale. Exhale, contracting the spine. On the next breath in, you can tuck your toes straight under and make your way into a downward facing dog. So let's begin to walk out the feet. So any intuitive movements here are welcome. You can bend into one leg at a time. You can give your hips a little bit of a wiggle, swaying them from side to side. Really just finding a connection through your hands and through your feet and saying hello to the backs of your legs. Take one more breath. And then find stillness in your dog. We will step our right foot out in front of us, finding a low lunge. Sink your left knee to the mat and then find Anjay Asana getting along. Squeeze the inner thighs together, breathing in. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat and come into a halfway lift, left foot meets your right. Breathing in. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, high mountain pose. Push into the edges of your feet and get long, long, long through your spine. Exhale, bring your hands into your chest, Samastiti. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forwards, wash your chest over your legs. Breathing into a halfway lift. Breathing out, stepping your right foot back. Anjay Asana, low lunge. Right knee sinks to the mat, get long. Pull the navel to the spine, reach out through your fingertips. Beautiful. Plant your hands into the earth, step it back into a plank position. And then we're gonna lower down to the floor on the count of 10. So chaturanga, slow controlled movement, holding for one, lowering two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Don't worry about how that went, just go with it. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, relax, soften to the floor. One more round of cobra, breathing in, pushing the shoulders back. 
Exhale to soften. Beautiful. Push into the hands. Take it back into a downward facing dog, reaching back through your hip points. Drive into the knuckles of your hands and the balls of your feet. And then we'll lift our right leg into the air, finding a three-legged dog. Bend into your knee a lot, flaring the hip right open. Exhale, knee towards your nose, round in through the back of your heart. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose again. One more time, beautiful. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach into your foot. Exhale, low lunge, step forwards. Really drive your chest forwards and up on the inhale. Exhale, long pyramid pose, bow over your right leg. You can bend into the front leg a little bit if you need. Take a moment, take a breath. On the next inhale, high crescent lunge, arms rise. Get long through your spine, reach out of your waist. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift forwards into a flying warrior, taking flight. Really kick into the back foot. Take a moment, take a breath. One-legged mountain pose. Pull your left knee into your chest now. Okay, let's flex into the foot a lot. Reach your arms to the sky. Then kick into the foot. So straighten out through your left leg as much as you can. Don't worry if you wobble. Bend into the left leg. Flying warrior again. We're going to reach the leg behind us. Reach into your foot. Breathing in. And then breathing out. Pull your knee once again into your chest. One-legged mountain. Arms rise. Kick into your foot, straighten out that leg. Hold, firming your bum, breathe. Beautiful, pull the knee back into your chest, bend into the knee, hands together at the heart, flying. Warrior, reach into your foot, take a moment, relax into your breath. High crescent lunge, softly land the foot to the mat, arms get long, reach up. Exhale, low lunge, hands meet the floor, and step it back into a plank position. Hug the up arms together, Chaturanga Dandasana, to an upward facing, leading with your heart space. And then exhale, downward facing dog, take it back. Take a full breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Next breath in, send your left leg high, three-legged dog. Flaring open through your left hip, plugging into your right foot a lot. On the exhale, knee draws into the nose, contract your spine fully. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose again. Inhale, reaching back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, round through the back of your heart. Breathe in, reach back. Breathing out, low lunge, step straight forwards, collarbones broad, drive those hips down, breathing in. And then breathing out, long pyramid pose. Engage your left quadricep muscle, drive into the back heel. High crescent lunge, arms rise. Tuck your tailbone in, find a rooted quality through your shape. Hands draw together at the heart. Flying warrior, shift forwards onto this left leg. Keep lifting your back heel for balance. Breathe. One-legged mountain pose. Draw the right knee straight in. Reach your hands up. Okay, ready? Let's kick into that foot. Really push your heel forwards. Building that strength. Beautiful, bend into the leg. Take it back, flying warrior, once again. Try to really press into all four corners of your left foot here for balance. Draw the knee again back into your chest space. Don't worry if you wobble and fall, be patient with yourself. Kick into the foot, straighten out through the leg. And then bend into your knee. Take it back, flying warrior. Reach into your foot, breathe. High crescent lunge, land the foot softly down, and arms rise, getting long. Exhale, lower the hands to the mat. Take it back, plank position. Move through your flow, chaturanga. Upward facing, push the shoulders back. And then exhale, down dog. 
Take two full breaths, connect. Beautiful, okay, on the next breath in, reach your right leg into the air, three-legged dog. Keep the legs straight, pull your knee to your nose, round in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. And one more time like that, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Reaching it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, stepping forwards once again. Peel your heart forwards and up. Breathing out, long pyramid pose. Melt over your right shin bone. Inhale, rock forwards, high crescent lunge. You can bend into that back knee a little bit, tucking your tailbone in. Find focus, finding that energy. Pull your hands together, flying warrior. Shifting forwards. Okay, one legged mountain pose. Slow it down if you need. Pull the left leg in. And then we're gonna kick into that foot, straighten out through your left leg. Flex your toes, so draw the toes up into the air. Bend into your left leg. Flying warrior, stretch the foot behind you. Breathe. One legged mountain again, pull that left leg into your heart space. Okay, kick it forwards. Straightening out through your left leg and then bend into your knee again. Okay, listening carefully. You're gonna to begin to take this left leg over to your left side. You're preparing for a tree pose. Firming your bum. Okay, and then find your tree, driving your foot into your thigh or your calf muscle or your ankle joint. Any of those variations work. Hands pull together at the heart. Get long, get tall. Slowly draw your left knee back into your chest. Hands pull together at the heart. Figure four now. Cross your foot over your right thigh. Flex into this left foot a lot. Get nice and low. Really get low into your right leg if you can. And just breathe into it. Okay, beautiful. You're gonna drop the left foot down to the mat. Find a fold over both of your legs. Nice work. All right, let's breathe in together. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Standing splits, your left leg will lift. Drive into the back heel a lot. You can play with wrapping your hands around your ankle. Maybe one hand, so you can reach the right hand to the right ankle. If you really want to challenge your balance, reach both of the hands around the ankle and keep lifting through your foot. Again, this is not about finding that perfection. Wobbling and falling is just part of the practice. So I know it can be frustrating in the beginning, but that's how we grow, right? One more breath. Okay, softly land the foot down, find a low lunge. Take a breath in. And then breathing out, wide-legged fold. Melt your body down in between your legs, side of your space. Reach up through your hips. You can grab your ankle joints, so hands around the edges of your feet if that's available to you. And just reach your chest forwards in between your legs. Breathe. Taking a breath in, halfway lift. Lift the chest. And then as you exhale, low lunge back of your space. Easy twist, reach your left hand into the air, opening across your chest space. All right, we'll come onto the edge of our right foot now. Side plank pose with a tree variation. So you're gonna pull this left foot to your inner right thigh or to your calf muscle or to your ankle joint, okay? You really wanna lift away from your right wrist as much as you can, lifting the hips and firming your bum, holding for another breath. I know it's super strong. Don't hate me. <laughs> One more breath. Okay, slowly drop your left hand to the mat. Left knee sinks to the mat. Supported side planks. Your right arm is stretching up and over your right ear. Okay, listen carefully. Pick your right foot off the floor. Bend into your right leg. Right hand meets the right ankle. Bind. Firm your bum. Reach through your chest. Take a breath. And then let go of your foot. Drop it down to the mat. Three-legged dog, your left leg will stretch into the air. Exhale, high lunge, step forwards. Get a long reach up through the arms. Pull your hands together at the heart. Lean forwards, flying warrior, shift forwards. All right, open up your chest, lead through the tip of your head. 
one-legged mountain pose. Your right knee will pull into your chest. Wrap your hands around this right shin, interlace the hands, and squeeze your thigh closer into your breastplate. Can you try to straighten out your left leg as much as you can? Hold for a moment. Okay, you can either stay here. If you want to take it a bit further, we're going to come into dancer's pose. Your right hand meets the inner right ankle. Your left hand stretches forwards. Begin to kick into your hand. You're going to tip forwards a little bit. Look over your left fingers. Your body will follow where your gaze is. So avoid looking down. Just look over the left fingers here. Pull those frontal ribs in. Holding for one more breath. Okay, slowly let go of your ankle. Drop the back foot to the floor, high lunge. Arms rise, are you with me? Okay, exhale, sink your right knee to the mat. Vertical twist, take your left hand behind you. Stretching open through your heart. Inhale, arms rise, center. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. And then as you breathe out, rainbow warrior, bend into that back leg. Breathe in, reverse your warrior as we rock the body forwards, expanding. And then just one more time like that, rainbow warrior, bend into the back leg. Inhale to reverse, gliding forwards, breathing in. And then breathing out, wide-legged forward fold, melt your body down in between your legs. Take a breath in, halfway lift. Breathing out, low lunge, front of your space, face your right foot. Plug into the hands, take it back into a plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, pushing into the tops of your feet. Exhale, tuck your chin, down dog, take it back. Take a full breath. Really sink into the floor, through your feet, through your hands. And then we'll lift our left leg into the air, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, rounding in. Finding the breath. Inhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. One more time, breathe in, take it back. Breathing out, knee to the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forwards. Okay, one inhale here. Peel your heart right open. And then as you breathe out, long pyramid pose, melt over your left shin. <sighs> Inhale, high lunge. Let's rise, get long out of your waist. <sighs> Exhale, hands pull together, shifting forwards onto that left leg, flying warrior. Okay, collarbones broad, breathing, focusing here. One-legged mountain pose. Draw the right knee into your chest. Flex into the foot. Okay, let's kick the leg forwards. And then draw the leg back into your chest space. Send it behind you again. Slow it down if you need. Flying warrior, breathe. Connect to your center. Your core is going to help you stabilize here. Okay, and we'll do it again. Pull the left leg into your chest. And then kick the leg forwards. Straighten out through the leg. Grow tall like a piece of string and then bend into your leg we'll take the right leg towards our side all right finding your tree pose now plugging that foot into your leg hands can reach up grow tall and find a completely focused moment here relax the breath relax your focus draw your tailbone in and then draw the leg back into your heart space, figure four position, right foot over the left thigh. Drive the right knee down a lot, active through your right toes as well. Breathe into it. Exhale, right foot meets the floor, find a fold over both of your legs. Breathing in together, halfway lift. Breathing out, fold forwards. Standing splits, your right leg will lift. Okay, same thing here. Playing with reaching the hands towards your left ankle, maybe one hand to the floor, and maybe the left hand to the ankle. Strengthening through your whole ankle joint and activating all of the muscles in your foot. 
Okay, low lunge, drop the back foot down to the mat. We'll take a breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, wide-legged fold, melt the body down, side of your space. One breath in together, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, back of your mat, face your right foot. Okay, we're gonna come straight into an easy twist. Reach the right hand into the air, breathe in. And then breathe out, come onto the edge of the left foot. Foot, side plank with that tree variation. Really lift up through your hips. Draw your tailbone in and reach, reach, reach through those right fingers. Take a moment, take a breath. Okay, beautiful. Land the right hand to the floor. Right knee sinks to the mat. So we're facing the other side of the mat now. Left hand stretches up and over supported side plank okay pick your left foot off the floor bend into your leg find a bind if you took it on the other side let go of your foot drop the back foot to the floor your right leg will lift three legged dog exhale high crescent lunge step forwards get long feel the energy move up your spine and up your arms pull your hands together at the heart Shift forwards, flying warrior, reach through the tip of your head. Almost there, guys. Okay, pull your left knee into your chest space. Hands around your left shin bone. Squeeze that thigh into your breastplate. See if you can straighten out your right leg. Engage your right quadricep muscles. All right, let's go for dancers. So you either stay in this position or you'll come into dancers if you took it on the other side. Left hand to the inner left ankle, right hand stretches forwards. Okay, find your balance, breathe into it. Find play, don't take yourself too seriously. Nice and slowly, we will meet in a high lunge, slowly letting go of your foot. Arms rise, breathe in. Breathing out, sink your left knee to the mat. Reach your right hand behind you, left hand forward. So finding a vertical twist here. Breathe in, arms rise, center. And then exhale, warrior two. Ground into your feet, look over your right fingers. Flip the right palm to the sky, reverse your warrior. Rainbow warrior, take it back into your left leg. Breathe in, rock the body forwards, reverse warrior. And exhale, rainbow warrior, taking it back. Inhale, reverse, gliding forwards, expanding. And then as you breathe out, wide-legged fold, melt down in between your legs, but really maintain the rootedness through your feet. Breathe in, halfway left. Breathing out, low lunge, top of your space, left foot. Plug into the hands, plank pose. Last chaturanga of the day. Move slow with control, squeeze the elbows in. Breathe in, upward facing, lifting up through your chest. Exhale, sink your knees to the floor. Child's pose, melt your body over your thigh bones. Soften your forehead, elbows to the mat. And relax. Take a spacious, wide breath into the back of your body right into the back rib cage if you need to sigh it out through your mouth you can and then very nice and slow you can start to roll your spine upwards Coming into a kneeling position, just as we did as we started. All right, we're gonna draw the legs over to one side. So slide the legs to the right side and then stretch your left leg out to the side of you. Your right foot will meet your inner left thigh here. And then get long, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. And just press down into your hips and allow a sense of release, of softness to wash over the body now. And then nice and slow, you can begin to roll back up and gradually, leisurely changing sides. Left foot meets the inner right thigh, facing your right leg, grow tall, reach up through the fingers and exhale, fold forwards. 
and try to press your hamstrings and your calf muscles into the ground. Slow your breath down, slow everything down. On your next breath in, you can roll your spine up and then uncross your legs. You can just walk yourself forward, bending into your knees. Try to keep your whole, the whole of your foot flat to the mat as we roll down, if it's possible. So pull the navel to the spine and nice and slowly segment your spine down to the floor. Moving with mindful awareness of your back body as it meets the mat. Beautiful, guys. You can gently, once you're down, pull your right knee into your chest area, hands around your right shin. Give your leg a full squeeze as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, take the knee to the left side to find a twist. Melt your right shoulder fully to the mat. And you can really close your eyes here and just start to drop the awareness internally. And slowly guide your right knee back into your chest. Give your right leg a squeeze, pull it in. And then exhale, send it out in front of you. Changing sides, pull your left knee into your heart space. Okay, breathing fully here as we hug it in. And then as you breathe out, pull it over towards the other side. Try to soften your left shoulder to the floor as much as you can so that you're really increasing the stretch here across your chest area. And then soften your body and your energy as you take the air in through your nostrils and out through your nostrils. On the end of your exhale, you can slowly guide both of your knees in towards your heart space now, hugging yourself into a little ball. Wrap your hands around your shins, pull your forehead to your knees and take a full breath in. And then exhale, let it all go. Find Shavasana. Stretch long, hands out to the sides. And if you've come this far, as I always say, when we do Shavasana, it's really, really worth your while it's just as important to find stillness and to find rest as all of the heat building and strength building practices that we do. So if you do have the time, I really invite you to stay. We'll be here for three minutes.
Bring your awareness to the space in between your eyebrows. And then to your lips, to your cheeks, your eyes, your nose. And then very gradually into the rest of your body. You can very slowly invite some movement into the fingers and the toes. And find any small gentle stretches to come back. Take the hands behind you, point, flex through the feet. And then nice and slow, you can roll over towards the right side. Come into fetal position, bending into your knees. Take a full breath. And then very slowly, with the help of your hand, you can make your way up into a seat. Let's place one foot in front of the other. Just come into a cross-legged seat and then pull your hands together at the heart. Let's take a nice deep breath in together through the nostrils. Exhale, sighing it out. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I know it was really challenging. I was sweating and struggling myself <laughs> so just be easy on yourself and remember to give me a nice big thumbs up if you did enjoy please let me know how you went in the comments below i would genuinely love to hear how you went and what you like and what you don't like all your feedback is what gives me inspiration and ideas of how to move forward and what you would like to see more of on this channel so remember to subscribe and i hope to see you soon have a beautiful day